The Parliamentary Committee of Rules, Privileges and Discipline today reconvened after two months to proceed with an inquiry into the case of misconduct against the Mitiana Municipality Legislator Francis Zake, which was committed in November 2022. The committee vice chairperson, Father Charles Onen, delivered a ruling in the application made by Zake's lawyers to have the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Thomas Tayewa, appear for cross-examination. Onen ruled that Tayewa's appearance was not necessary. He says all evidence that was captured in the video and on hazard of Parliament is sufficient enough for the committee to conclude the matter. In November, the committee is corroborated by the video evidence adduced before the committee, which shows both honorable members making submissions for the conduct of Honorable Zake on the material on the material day. They are therefore relevant in aiding the committee understand the basis upon which they made their submissions during the plenary and their observations regarding the conduct of Honorable Zake at the material time. For that reason, the request for that reason, the request to invite them as witnesses is granted. The chairperson's revelation shocked Zake's lawyer Elias Rukwago and his client Francis Zake, who had attended the committee proceedings. Lukwago noted that if the complainant is not allowed to appear before the committee, then there is no case to answer. If that were to be the case, we would know. Because defamation has also to be particularized. It's against a particular individual that you did this, 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 which disparages so and so's name. And that, and actually, they are ingredients of that particular charge of defamation. Francis Zake, the accused, claimed that the leadership of parliament is waging a witch hunt against him. They expect me to defend myself. So let's watch the space, but this is a waste of time that I shouldn't even be able to give time. The chief opposition whip, John Baptist Nambeshe, appeared as a last witness today and defended Zake's actions. Nambeshe further added that he was shocked when he had the deputy speaker direct Francis Zake to the Committee of Rules, yet they had settled the matter in his chambers. It looked unusual to discontinue the member uh, from uh, uh, submitting or raising the matter. And uh, that's why you saw me comply with the speaker's direction when he said, Rob, talk to your member. I was pleading to him to relax and cool down so that uh, sanity would prevail and uh, the presiding officer would allow him to conclude on the matter. Download the app on App Store or Google Play Store now. Vision Digital Experience, the future of media.